this is the part that it's not going to get. And we sit there. I don't care what anybody says, I'm going to freak out about this because for the very first time, I'm making a timely and relevant video. Hello? So naturally, I'm going to cash in on that for clout. Okay, let's actually talk about the thing. There's been a major mathematical breakthrough and I feel the need to share it all with you in what is inevitably going to be the worst explanation ever. Now to understand why this is a really big deal, we need to talk about patterns. Now the thing you need to know about patterns is that they're just a series of repeating shapes. You've seen a grid before, you know what I'm talking about. And obviously patterns don't just need to be grids of squares, you can make grids of triangles too, that's always an option. Or if you want to, you can make grids of hexagons. We usually call these beehives, but you know, to each their own. Now patterns have two important and distinctive characteristics. That is, that they can stretch to infinity, and that they can repeat. I kind of lied on that second one. They don't need to repeat, and I'll talk about that. So there are actually three kinds of patterns that you can make. You can make periodic tilings, non-periodic tilings, and aperiodic tilings. That last one, yeah, that's the interesting one we're going to talk about. But first, let's talk about periodic tilings. Periodic tilings are patterns that can only repeat when you translate or slide around those shapes. And that's like that grid and that triangle grid and that beehive that I showed you earlier. Non-periodic tilings are a little more lenient. They let you rotate and translate and do a couple other transformations to those shapes. For example, take this grid. This grid isn't a periodic tiling because it rotated and reflected its shapes. There's a little footnote there for you. That you can't see because I'm in the way. Now the aperiodic tiling is where it gets really cool because it's a pattern that can stretch to infinity but never repeats. And you might be wondering, well, how is that possible? That can't be possible. I'll tell you how that's possible. Originally, we needed somewhere around 20,000 unique tiles in order to make a pattern that would never repeat. Now, it's a finite number for sure, but it's still a really large number. Eventually, we were able to get it down to just 104 and then 96 and then just six of them, but then just two tiles that repeat forever. Roger Penrose was the mathematician that created these two tiles. If his name sounds familiar, it's because his father created this monstrosity right here. The Penrose tiles are the two unique tiles that can create an aperiodic tiling, and that looks like this. It's beautiful! Penrose called the two tiles that make up this pattern kites and darts because they look like, well, kites and darts. But here's where the story gets really interesting. We know of the existence of the theoretical Einstein tile that is only one shape that, when given those rules, can tile infinitely but never repeat. And we used to think that that was impossible. That is, until a few days ago when Craig Kaplan tweeted this, proof that there is, in fact, an Einstein tile and it looks like a hat maybe like a ripped t-shirt, I don't know, it doesn't matter. What matters is that we made it. We made the Einstein tile and that, there it is. It's an aperiodic tiling created with just one shape. We never thought that that was possible and it's crazy. And the mathematicians got rich and famous and they lived happily ever after, right? Yeah, I deserved that one, didn't I? Now, it should be said that this is just a preprint. It's awaiting peer review and formal publication, but we don't have reason not to believe this guy. I mean, he made computer proofs. That's the mathematical way of saying, we checked our work, guys. Regardless, this is still a pretty freaking big deal, no matter what you say. We finally answered the question, does an Einstein tile exist? And yeah, it does. But there is one question that is left to be answered. What are we even gonna do with it? Thank you for watching. Oh, my back. My back. My poor back. It really hurts. I. God. Okay. That's it. The video's over now.